Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day, and it couldn't have been a better verse of the day for me personally. And it's Revelation 21, 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And if you watched my last video, then you know Grammy just passed away. And the funeral home called me this morning and said that before she passed away, she never changed the life insurance policy and the beneficiary was Christina. So they have to do some paperwork and it might take a while and it would go to the next of kin or mine and Christina's son, Angelo, but it could take a while. And the funeral is scheduled for 12-12. So I told them if something goes wrong and they don't receive payment, then I would take full responsibility and make sure it was paid. And we have other expenses as well, so I started this GoFundMe for any of you that want to donate that are led to. And I'll leave the link in the description box under the video. Thank you, family. God bless you all. Now on to the signs and the sun, the moon, and the stars right where Jesus Christ said they would be. And his signs are magnificent and beyond gigantinormous. You're going to love this, family. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And yesterday, a brother flew in from Chicago, and we went out and handed out more backpacks and tents together, and it was awesome. Praise you, Father, and thank you, family. And after I dropped him off at the airport, I came home and our brother Ronnie, he texted me this. And it was divine. And when he texted it to me, I told him, I text back and I said, awesome, praise God. And it really didn't mean that much to me. I mean, divine, it means something, but it really didn't hit me. And I was sitting on the couch and all of a sudden Jesus Christ downloaded it on me. That he is the divine messenger. And if you remember on November 26th, I put this video out and I showed you messenger and I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Praise you, Father. It's right there. Jesus is the divine messenger. And it's right on top of messenger. Divine messenger. The heavens declare the glory of God. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the son, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. And the sun sets on the tip of the tabernacle on the full moon that's at 33 UTC that the transliteration is age and the definition is come, come now. And right across from divine is celeste child family. And at the top is Toda. Thank you. In Hebrew, next to Hydeo, the husband man. O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto the holy hill and to thy tabernacles. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. It gets way bigger. Remember I showed you that the new moon is expected on 12-12, December 12th at 2332 UTC. And remember I showed you 12-12 in Strong's is clear, evident. And again, the new moon is on 12-12 at 23-32 universal time. Strong's 23-32, Greek and Hebrew, life giver, or Eve, the first woman. And what I'm about to show you is running with divine messenger and the truth and celeste child and hydeo and all of it. It's gigantinormous. And it's Babylon on the tip of the tabernacle on 12-12's new moon. And here's why it's so gigantinormous. And it's right there. Babylon literally means gate of God. And everyone's talking about COP28 on 1212 and it being the covenant with many. And the covenant is seven years long. And in the middle of the seven years, he breaks the covenant and abominates the temple and kills the two witnesses. And three years and six months from 12-12 is June 12th, 2027. Now I'll take you to Hebcow, Jewish holidays for 2027. And June 12th, 2027, three years and six months from 12-12 is Shabbat, Pentecost. But there's way more, and it's so gigantinormous. 
and I'm going to try to give you as much as I can in this short video because I want to encourage you and comfort you and let you know he's coming immediately and I got to get on the road. We're leaving this weekend to drive 10 hours back to Grammy's to lay her body to rest. So I'm just going to knock it out one sign after the other. All glory to Father, Abba, our dad, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And it's right here, extremely rare oculation of Beetlejuice. It's an eclipse. On December 12th, main belt asteroid Leona will pass directly in front of Beetlejuice. And there's Leona on 12-12, right in Orion, right on top of Betelgeuse, eclipsing it. And Leona means lioness. Leon means lion. And you can see right at the tip of the club is Vesta. Well, right next to Vesta, Joachim, Joachim, Mary and Elizabeth's dad. Jesus Christ, Grandpa. Mary's dad, and Mary is in the woman right now. And on 12-12, Mary will be in the woman. And on 12-12, Elizabeth Ann is right there under the tabernacle. Next to child and Terry. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Now back to Babylon, which literally means God's gate, which is right next to what they call Mercury, the wandering star, and right above Swassman Walkman, which means watchman, water watchman. If you break Babylon in half, you have baby and lawn. And it's right there. The meaning of lawn is lion. Baby, lion. And lawn, also means League of Nations, the first permanent international organization for maintaining world peace, family. The predecessor of the United Nations. Put it together, we're going home. The signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the Holy Spirit's all over me, all glory to our Father. And on 1212, you can see that the United Nations is right there. It just came out of the scale, and it's right next to Harmonia. And harmonia, it's right there. It means harmony and agreement, like the covenant. Babylon literally means gate of God. And when you break it in half, you got baby and lawn. Baby, lion. And lawn also means League of Nations. Originally, the League of Nations. Now, the United Nations. And if we're still here, Babylon, gate of God, and you go through the days, if we're still here past 1212 to when the sun sets on the tabernacle, Psalm 19, on the 27th, you could see Babylon is right there, directly under divine messenger, family. The heavens declare the glory of God. It's a fact. The signs will be in the sun, moon, and stars. It's a fact. There's no way that the signs cannot be in the sun, moon, and stars. It's the word of God. It's Jesus Christ, the divine messenger. He's the one that said it. Luke 21, 25. And the nations with perplexity. I follow Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And he's the one that said the signs would be in the heavens, in the sun, the moon, and the stars. That's what declares the glory of God. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. And oh yeah, chambers is right there on 12-12-2 next to the tabernacle. And if that's not enough, this is happening right now. Why is it a big week for Haley's Comet? A possible star of Bethlehem. Halley's Comet, a celestial phenomenon returns, echoing star of Bethlehem. And they're saying Halley's Comet will reach Aphelion, the farthest point in its orbit of the sun, at 2 o'clock UTC on December 9th. That's 2100 Eastern Standard Time today. And they're calling it a Christmas Comet now. 
And they're saying that Halley's Comet won't be visible again from Earth until 2061. But we'll already be back with Jesus Christ. And speaking of coming back with Jesus Christ after the seven years, if you're looking for a 2520 day count, in the year 2030, Hanukkah is December 20th to December 28th. And remember, I showed you, if you count a full-term pregnancy, 280 days from Nissan 1 this year, March 23rd, plus 280 days of full-term pregnancy, it lands on December. All glory to our Father. And remember, December 28th this year is the day of holy innocence. When King Herod killed all the kids two years old and under trying to kill Jesus Christ. Zechariah 14, 16, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. And Hanukkah is the second tabernacles because of Judah Maccabee. He took back the temple from Antiochus. And they were not able to worship and celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. And that's what started Hanukkah. And that's why it's the second Feast of Tabernacles. Put it together, family. We're going home. And Halley's Comet, the possible star of Bethlehem, they're saying, is right by the head of what they call Hydra, the snake, right next to Angel. And when you zoom in, and it looks like a staff severing the head of the snake right there in brown, you can see that Angel is right next to the head of the snake. And when you go through the days, you can see that angel lines up with the corner star right there on the 27th when the sun sets on the tabernacle at 33 UTC. That means come, come now. He's coming immediately. The heavens declare the glory of God. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chambers. Receive the divine messenger, Jesus Christ. Babylon, the gate of God. Psalms chapter 118, verse 19 and 20. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. And I love you, family. Keep your heads up. We're going home immediately and I'll wrap it up with Fana. It's right there next to the new moon, next to the red planet they call Mars on 1212. And the meaning of Fana is shining crown. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing.